Hey everyone, this is Daryl with Bugco Pest Control, and today we want to talk about the German roach. Maybe you don't know them by name, but everyone knows of them. Small, brown, found in your kitchen and bathrooms. Yep, those ones. But how do you know if you have German roaches? Let's start with some German roach facts. One, German roaches are found outside only in tropical areas, which means they don't live locally in your yard or in the woods at your local state park, like ticks, termites, or mosquitoes, or on the exterior of your home or business. Two, they reproduce faster than other roaches, so that means if there is one, there are more. Where you may see only a single tree roach or American roach in a month, you could see dozens of German roaches per day. And as an added bonus, German roaches have developed an immunity or resistance to many pesticides. That is why self-treating and using things like bug bombs, contact sprays, or trying to repel German roaches with what you think smells bad to them like some vinegar sprays, that just drives them into hiding and leads to even worse infestations. And finally, they aren't going to fly, but they may glide for a little bit for short distances and are often confused with Asian roaches, which can fly. You're going to find Asian roaches outside near exterior light sources, a lot like moths. Now, while they can get inside, they won't reproduce like German roaches, so no worries there. So where do you get German roaches from? As mentioned earlier, they originated in tropical areas but have since spread throughout the world and have become some of the worst hitchhiker pests there are, along with bedbugs. There are a few common ways they can get introduced into a new environment. You may have went to a friend's house that had them, or a hotel, and they could be a stowaway in your luggage. Perhaps you brought something in from a garage sale, or you work in a place more likely to have them and has better chances of encountering them. In a business, a worker or patron could have brought them in, but more commonly they come in on transported items like incoming supplies and goods on delivery trucks that transport infested products from a distribution center or even a food production facility. Many of these facilities do not require pest control because there are no food products on site. They may supply napkins, forks, or other types of supplies. Everyone is susceptible, but with heavily trafficked locations, the chances increase, like in restaurants, daycares, nursing homes, food processing facilities, and hotels. While they are found in standalone buildings or homes, they will be more commonly found in structures that many people visit, or that has a shared wall void or shared walls between units. Some examples include townhomes, condominiums, apartments, or buildings such as duplexes and quadruplexes. Imagine this. We can treat one unit and control the population in that unit for a period of time, but the infestation may return if the other units are not treated. Think of these units as rooms in a large house and we only treated one room. It's not going to be as effective as a full treatment. So how do you get rid of German roaches? What do you do for something that's brought in? Here are a few things that you can do. Sanitation. Keep the surfaces clean of crumbs and debris. Pull out your appliances every few months and clean underneath and behind them. Do not leave food out overnight. This includes dirty dishes and food in the sink. Prevention. You might be reintroducing them. Be mindful of the things brought into your house. Exclusion. Normally we use this word when we talk about sealing your house or home to help prevent pests from getting inside your home from the exterior. In this case, you can seal any cracks or crevice in your bathroom and kitchen. If you have any questions or would like to schedule your appointment, please feel free to give us a call at 281-240-2157 or visit us at www.bugco.org. Thank you. Bug, go. We make the bugs go. Beep.